been four years since I was last here in Roanoke, Virginia. It was 2008 and I wanted to cover the election from a swing town in a swing state. I stayed for a month. I went shooting guns with Republicans and saw Obama come here, the first presidential candidate to come here since Kennedy in 1960. Virginia wasn't, for a long time, much of a swing state. The Republicans always took it and it seemed unbelievable in 2008 that Obama could win here. But he did and he's leading in the polls now. But then that's the problem with covering American elections. All too often we talk about who will win rather than what will change. So I thought I would come back here to Roanoke where my coverage started last time to ask what has changed and do people like the change that they've seen? for health care is $14,000. What is $5,000 going to do when Americans are being charged by pharmaceutical companies 67% more than what they're charging for the exact... Four years ago, Chelsea was a passionate supporter of Barack Obama. She still loves the president, but today she's got other things on her mind, like her new baby, Harrison. So four years ago, right over there, you spoke your heart out for Obama. Is your heart still in it now, four years later? It is. It is. You, you, you love him as much now as you did then? Yeah, I think maybe I'm crazy. I just never, uh, a lot of people have, um, they're sort of disenchanted because the economy isn't 100% perfect. But maybe I'm crazy because I never expected it to be. Right. So I don't have that letdown that some people have. Uh -huh. I don't think anyone really thinks he's going to lose, so maybe that's why I'm not as on the front lines as I used to be. Right. But when people ask that, and the reason why I'm probably, well, I know I'm still voting for him is probably, I just can't imagine where else we would have ended up. And I don't know what people expected to happen in four years. Others aren't quite so invested. In 2008, I met Ken who runs the local guitar shop. Good to see you. Good to see you. Ken's exhausted by all of the ads on TV, but he's still prepared to give Barack Obama the benefit of the doubt. You know, I, 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 can't, I don't think he's done a bad job. The thing is, he's a very charming guy. So he does what he does best, which is go out and charm people. But they have, neither side has been willing to compromise, at least that's the way it appears. Right. On day one, the job number one was to make sure that the president was a one-term president. Right. And not... Let's get people back to work. Let's get their houses paid for. Let's, you know, have health care. It's just like, no, we got to get rid of this guy. <laughs> In 2008, I downed many a milkshake at Pop's Ice Cream and Soda Bar. And there I got to know Brandon and Anna, the owners. Do people talk about it as much as like they did four years ago? Or what's the mood here like? I don't think they worry so much about him not getting reelected. So it's not as, um, I think, not so much excitement. You know, I think they expect him really to win. Um, do you expect him to win? I do. I do. You know? Why is that? Um, just because I think, you know, Romney really dropped the ball, you know, when he said that, you know, everyone doesn't pay taxes. You know, most of everyone I know anyway you know, that works hard, that does pay taxes. You know, he, he put them in the 47% or 42% and this cookie's gonna crumble. Obama supporters are very confident that he's gonna win this time. In fact, some say their main enemy isn't Mitt Romney, but complacency. So this is a Democrat's much vaunted ground game. They have a list of people in this area that, uh, to come to talk to. They want to find out where they stand with the candidates and where they stand on the issues, which issues are most important to them. They write it down, they feed it back to the campaign, and then the campaign knows who to talk to and what to talk to them about. The big issue, you know, I'm, I'm somewhat disappointed in uh, some of the decisions that uh, Obama has made, but he's been constrained a lot over the last four years, I think. I think so, so too. So yes, definitely leaning Obama. Almost everyone I've spoken to who was really actively involved in 2008, has said they've not been quite so involved this time. Four years ago, they were excited by the potential for political change that could come out of the electoral system. Four years on, they frustrated 
by the lack of political change that has been possible over these last four years.